Hi, I am Eivin Eilin. I'm a professor at the University of Oslo. I'm a current member and also a previous president of UPERA, the European Public Relations Research and Education Association. The topic that I want to address is the notion of post-truth and public relations. If we are to believe the current media hype, uh, there are some epistemic changes happening in society which have been labelled as uh, moving towards a post-truth society. Post-truth society is characterized by how, for instance, your feelings take precedence. If you feel that the facts aren't right, uh, you're entitled to have that feeling. Uh, you're entitled to have that truth. If you feel that the public authorities are hiding facts about the immigration issues, that is your truth. If you feel that the official crime statistics related to immigrants are skewed, that is your right and so forth. Uh, public relations uh, do have to recognize its own complicity in this regard as mudding the waters between what is truth and what is non-truth, putting the best spin on a story, uh, hiding certain facts that would allow a fuller uh, and different inter interpretation of the truth without deliberately lying. This has been a stock trade of uh, the profession for many, many years. So there are some key questions that public relations has to ask. Uh, for instance, what truths are forwarded uh, and how do organizational intelligence and ultimate goals of profit and legitimacy play into this? And furthermore, uh, how can professionalism in public relations be increased and with that adherence to the basic credo of professions of serving society? So the challenge for public relations educators is to teach what post-truth is, to spell out the consequences in, on, for the condition of society, and also to highlight the mentioned complicity of public relations and engage students in uh, discussions of professionalism and ethics in this regard. So uh, fundamentally, we really need to ask what kind of society do we want and what kind of discourse would contribute in this regard. So public relations has its work cut out.